Guess who is in the studio today? Oh, who it is? Who it is? Who it is? Who it is? It's, who your, it is? Boy. it's your boy, Mike. Jesus. Mike Adams, a.k.a. Mike Kazuki. A.k.a. The, the godless. Oh, that is true. This is the godless. I'm the scary one. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to Storytime with Jazz. Come on the journey with me if you want to, baby. On this day, we talking about track two. Track one, we introduced the superhero. So that means track two, we introduced the what? The villain. And the villain, its name is The Godless. Inspired by what us as Christians believe to be an enemy called the devil or Satan. Just the enemy don't want us to be great in our walk with, with the Lord, in our walk with Jesus. Anyway, inspired by him, but the godless, and this villain is not Satan. It's just inspired by, you know, my belief system. The voice of the godless is Mike Adams. Mike Adams did a perfect role. I mean, he killed that thing. And he's also a rapper, a fire rapper. So I'm like, yo, Mike, I... Here are all the attributes of the godless. Here's the vision of the godless. I want you to write this. And then also the production, Wes. I want you to make the production according to the attributes and characteristics of the godless. And when I say they killed that thing, both of them. And so I wasn't in the studio as much when creating this. They would just send me stuff. Um, but there is a little bit of footage here and there. But Mike, I actually asked him to share more of his perspective, um, being the character, writing the song, and all that type of stuff. So y'all gonna hear Mike just in just a second, and so um, I hope y'all enjoy um, his perspective. And you know, I'm sure he has some great things for y'all to listen to. So um, take a look at Mike. Nikayo, Nikayo, you think you're gonna save the whole world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe maybe go listen to this song. I won't try to do it live right now, but what's up? It's Mike Adams. Um, I played the Godless uh, off the album, off Jasmine Kale's album. And um, I just wanted to take some time to kind of let y'all know kind of what it was like to be a part of the project and to play the villain. When Jasmine came to me a couple of years, really, gosh, maybe even two years ago with the concept of the album, I, I loved it because I could just so resonate with the story. Uh, I mean, ultimately, it's Jasmine's, really, it's her real story uh, about her facing her pain, her trauma. And and in the last four or five years, uh, that's something that I've been doing as well, just feeling like um, just facing pain and facing things that um, I didn't know were kind of holdups in my life. And so I, I really... Um, you know, Jasmine's a dear friend. She she the homie. She the sister. She the friend. She's one of the, my really dear friends, and so it was really important to me to help you know her tell her story. But also, I felt like I was kind of, in a way, telling mine as well. And so, and as a kid, I I, I don't know why. Maybe I need to talk to my therapist about this. But uh, I always um, liked the villains: <laughs> Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Venom, all, all you know, all those guys. Joker. So when Jasmine asked me to be the villain, uh, it was exciting to be able to kind of live out that villain dream. If you know me in real life, you know I'm, I'm not very villainous. So it's, and I know I look pretty intimidating. So it was really fun though, to be able to help create this character. And as we were working on the song and, and the character, the character changed and evolved. Where at first it was kind of just your, I don't know, typical Darth villain to becoming, I started to weave in a little Joker things and then but dapper and it just kind of morphed into something really special. One real takeaway that I got from it or, or really my experience making the song was I felt like I was fighting the godless this whole process. There were days when I would try to work on this song that I was, I felt so much pain and some depression and like the last thing I wanted to do was work on this project. I last thing I wanted to do was anything <laughs> uh, because of the pain. And that's exactly what the godless, his goal is, is to stop Nikao by overwhelming her with her pain, with lies, with 
all of that so that she's paralyzed with pain and doesn't move forward with who with her superpowers and with who she's called to be. And that's really what I experienced in this process was, you know, I wanted to do a great job, but I just felt so much pain. I felt like I couldn't do anything. And it just came to the point. I, I had reached my deadline. I was like, I've got to write this. Like, I'm doing this. And so one night, I mean, I just, you know, wrote the song. I didn't feel inspired. I didn't feel some rush of, you know, I'm going to write a masterpiece. I've got it. I didn't feel the way at all. Actually, I once again felt that pain. I didn't want to do a thing forced myself to write and, and finished it. And I thought, you know, hey, it's, it's fine with it. You know, I was praying about it, thinking about it. And I was like, well, what if, I'm a bit of a perfect, I'm, my friends know I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And so I was like, well, what if I don't like this? Or what if I don't like it? Or oh, what if it's not great, da, 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 And I just felt God challenging me with like, hey, it's better to go for it, to make something than to sit back and just be a critic. And so I said yes to the project. And it was cool that my experience of writing this song, it, it wasn't like some big bam, I've got it. It was actually me pressing through the perfectionism, through the, hey, I don't like this. And I wrote a song that it, if I would have just been left to my own opinion, I would have just, like if this would have been for like a project I was writing, um, I would have just never, I just would have thrown it out because it was so critical. But because I took the time with the producer, with Jasmine, with others, and t did some tweaks, I, I ended up loving the song, and it's, and, it's, and it's good. And so this project, I'm really thankful for it, really taught me just to not say yes to that critic that just stops you from doing anything. And that can be applied to anything in life, where you're afraid to make a mistake, and so you just don't do it. If I would have listened to that, I wouldn't have done this project. But I'm so glad I got to be a part of this and, and will continue to be a part of, of the continuation of, of what Jasmine has come in. And But it, it, was a, it was a really cool experience getting to play that villain, just discover new parts of creativity in me. And really, it, it was different than just normal songwriting. It, it felt like I was acting a little bit and I had a lot of fun with it in the studio, just even in the way I my hand contortions and facial expressions, just everything I was, it felt like I was working on an animated comic or movie or something. So super glad to be a part, you know, hope that you enjoy the project. Godless out. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all are blessed. I hope you guys are inspired. Always, always, always. I just really hope that and pray that my story inspires you to awaken the warrior within you. If you haven't, if that warrior ain't woke yet, that warrior is unfound. You haven't found that inner warrior within yourself because everybody got that warrior within them. Sometimes you just gotta, some people just gotta dig a little deeper to find it and pull it out, but it's there. And so I just, every single time, I just wanna leave y'all with the fact that healing is possible. Healing is for you. I found mine through Jesus and doing the hard work of therapy and, you know, dying to my flesh and practical things. So, all that comes into play, man. So, yeah, just, um, I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share. Even if this don't interest you, this may actually help somebody else. So, you know, sharing ain't always about um you know helping someone get known or whatever sharing could literally just be like this could bless i know a friend that this could bless so let me go ahead and send this to them okay y'all well thank you for uh coming to story time with jazz uh you came on the journey because you wanted to and i thank you for that okay bye